Three minutes after Yellowstone's black diamond pool hurled superheated mud 40 feet into the air, Dr. Sarah Chen's computer screen lit up with alerts she had never seen before. Seismic monitoring stations across the Pacific Ring of Fire were registering synchronized tremors. Not aftershocks, but deliberate responses to acoustic waves traveling faster than sound through Earth's atmosphere. What Chen discovered next changed everything. Scientists thought they knew about volcanic networks. The same atmospheric pressure, signatures now rippling outward from Wyoming, had appeared in the geological record exactly once before, 700 years ago, just before a cascade of hydrothermal explosions tore Yellowstone apart from within. Today, with 47 volcanoes already active worldwide, the highest count in recorded history, that ancient pattern is repeating itself. But this time, the responding volcanoes are not just in Yellowstone. They are scattered across every major fault line on the planet, from Japan's restless Mount Fuji to Indonesia's awakening volcanic arc. If history repeats, what starts as steam in Wyoming can end as ash clouds over entire continents. Are we watching Yellowstone send the first signal in a geological domino effect that could darken skies across the Northern Hemisphere? Beneath Yellowstone's serene landscapes and bubbling thermal features lies one of Earth's most powerful and unpredictable volcanic systems. Over the past 2.1 million years, the Yellowstone supervolcano has erupted catastrophically on three occasions, each time reshaping the topography and ecosystem of the North American continent. The Huckleberry Ridge eruption, occurring 2.1 million years ago, ejected a staggering 2,450 cubic kilometers of volcanic material into the atmosphere, enough debris to bury the entire state of Texas under 16 feet of ash. Fast forward 800,000 years to the Mesa Falls eruption, which incinerated forests and wildlife across a 1,000 square mile area, leaving behind a desolate landscape of charred tree trunks and igneous deposits. But it was the Lava Creek eruption, just 630,000 years ago, that created the massive 30 by 45 mile caldera that draws millions of visitors to Yellowstone National Park today. This cataclysmic event blasted 240 cubic miles of rock, ash and lava into the stratosphere, darkening skies and altering global weather patterns for years. Dr. Michael Poland, the scientist in charge at the USGS Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, explains that while most people focus on Yellowstone's three super eruptions, the truth is the volcano has experienced more than 80 smaller eruptions in the intervals between those massive events. We are talking about dozens of lava flows, multiple ash explosions, and countless steam-driven hydrothermal eruptions. In fact, the most recent magmatic eruption at Yellowstone occurred a mere 70,000 years ago, a geological blink of an eye. It is not magma that has volcanologists losing sleep over Yellowstone. It is the often overlooked hydrothermal system a vast network of superheated groundwater that has triggered some of the park's most violent and unpredictable explosions. On average, Yellowstone experiences a major hydrothermal eruption every 700 years, with the last occurring in the 14th century. These steam-driven blasts occur when water trapped beneath the surface is suddenly heated past its boiling point, causing it to vaporize and expand violently. The result is a devastating cocktail of mud, rock, and scalding water hurled across the landscape with little warning. The scars of these hydrothermal events are etched across Yellowstone's terrain. From the one and a half mile wide crater at Mary Bay to the ghostly forest of shattered tree trunks surrounding Turbid Lake. But perhaps the most sobering reminder of the hydrothermal system's explosive potential came in 1959 when the Hebgen Lake earthquake triggered a massive steam explosion near Fountain Paint Pot. That magnitude 7.3 quake, centered just northwest of the park, dramatically altered geyser activity, created new thermal features, and left a crater 25 feet wide that still steams ominously today. 
as geologists like Dr. Lisa Morgan map debris fields and analyze ejecta from past hydrothermal explosions, a disturbing pattern emerges. Rather than occurring in isolation, Yellowstone's steam blasts often cluster together in time, with one eruption destabilizing the hydrothermal system and setting the stage for a cascade of subsequent explosions. It is a geological one-two punch that has reshaped Yellowstone's landscape repeatedly and, as researchers are now discovering, may be linked to a much larger network of volcanic activity spanning the globe. For decades, the idea that a volcanic eruption in one part of the world could trigger seismic events thousands of miles away was dismissed as geological fantasy. But in 2024, a team of researchers made a startling discovery that upended conventional wisdom and revealed a hidden network of volcanic communication that spans the globe. Using advanced computer modeling and data from a sprawling network of atmospheric sensors, scientists demonstrated how the 2022 Hunga Tonga eruption in the South Pacific generated infrasound waves powerful enough to circle the Earth multiple times and potentially destabilize distant volcanic systems. The mechanism behind this long-distance volcanic telegraph is at once simple and mind-boggling. When a volcano like Hunga Tonga erupts with explosive force, it sends a massive plume of superheated ash, gases and steam rocketing into the atmosphere at speeds exceeding 1,000 feet per second. As this roiling column of debris punches through the air, it generates low-frequency infrasound waves that radiate outward in all directions, travelling at the speed of sound. These atmospheric pressure waves, inaudible to human ears, can propagate for thousands of miles, crossing continents and oceans as they race around the globe. And when they encounter distant volcanoes that are already primed for eruption, the added pressure from the infrasound waves can be just enough to trigger a cascade of explosive activity, like a geological game of dominoes. This is not just theoretical speculation. The historical record is littered with tantalizing clues that suggest volcanoes have been chatting across vast distances for millennia. Take the infamous eruption of Mount Tambora in 1815. That blast was so powerful it created an acoustic aftershock that rippled across the Pacific Ocean. In the months following Tambora's eruption, eyewitness accounts and geological evidence point to a surge in volcanic activity from Kamchatka to Colombia, as if the Indonesian volcano had sent out a clarion call that awakened its slumbering brethren. Even Yellowstone, situated nearly 8,000 miles from Mount Tambora, seems to have felt the effects of this volcanic long-distance call. Tree ring data and hydrothermal deposit analysis suggest that in 1816, the year after Tambora's eruption, Yellowstone experienced a noticeable uptick in geyser activity, the formation of new thermal features and changes in hydrothermal behaviour that persisted for decades. Now, with the revelation of acoustic volcanic networking, scientists are re-examining these historical eruptions with new eyes, searching for evidence of infra sound waves that may have connected distant volcanoes in a planetary game of telephone. What they are finding is both fascinating and deeply troubling. As the sun set on December 21st, 2025, seismometers across the Pacific Northwest registered a flurry of harmonic tremors, the telltale signature of magma and superheated hydrothermal fluids moving through the crust. In the hours following Yellowstone's Black Diamond Pool eruption, a swarm of earthquakes rattled the Aleutian volcanic arc in Alaska, while Japan's iconic Mount Fuji stirred from a 300-year slumber. Across the Pacific, 47 volcanoes erupted simultaneously, an unprecedented number that dwarfed any tally in recorded history. From Russia's Kamchatka Peninsula to the smouldering peaks of Chile's Andean volcanic belt, the entire ring of fire seemed to be awakening in a geological chain reaction that scientists had once dismissed as alarmist fantasy. 
But now, as data pours in from volcanic monitoring stations around the globe, a chilling picture is emerging. The acoustic pressure wave that radiated out from the Black Diamond Pool explosion did not just rattle nearby seismometers. It appears to have sent a shockwave through the entire Pacific Basin, shaking loose magmatic plumbing and destabilizing hydrothermal systems from Indonesia to Peru. Dr. Janine Kripner, a volcanologist with the Smithsonian Institution's Global Volcanism Program, puts it bluntly. We have never seen this level of simultaneous volcanic activity in our lifetimes. It's as if Yellowstone's hydrothermal explosion um, was a shot heard around the world, and every volcano in the Pacific is responding in kind. The implications of this volcanic chain reaction are difficult to overstate. Volcanic ash can contaminate water supplies, short circuit electrical grids, and ground aircraft for thousands of miles downwind. Even a moderate eruption of Mount Fuji, towering over the heart of metropolitan Tokyo, would paralyze the world's largest urban area and necessitate the evacuation of millions. An explosive eruption in the bottleneck of the Sunda Strait could sever undersea communication cables that connect half the globe, plunging entire continents into an information blackout. And if the surge in volcanic activity triggered by Yellowstone's hydrothermal explosion coaxes more slumbering giants back to life, we could be facing a cascade of civilization altering eruptions that makes the chaos of the past three years look like a geological picnic. At Yellowstone itself, the signs of escalating hydrothermal unrest are impossible to ignore. Thermal features that have lain dormant for decades are coughing back to life, while new steam vents and boiling mud pots are opening up across the park's vast caldera. GPS. Data shows the ground deforming in real time, heaving and subsiding as pockets of superheated water pulse ominously beneath the surface. Seismometers are picking up the same deep harmonic tremors that preceded the last major hydrothermal eruption cycle over 700 years ago, a chilling echo from Yellowstone's explosive past. Dr. Poland grimly notes, all the signs are pointing to a period of heightened hydrothermal activity that could see large sections of the park rocked by steam explosions for years to come. But it is the spectre of Yellowstone's hydrothermal explosions, triggering sympathetic eruptions, further afield that keeps volcanologists tossing in their sleep. If the acoustic shockwave from Black Diamond Pool is indeed the opening salvo, in a cascading eruption sequence, we could be facing a century of geological upheaval unlike anything in recorded history. Imagine the catastrophic 1815 eruption of Mount Tambora, which blanketed the globe in sun-dimming ash and triggered crop failures and famine worldwide. Now picture that same scenario playing out on a global scale as dozens of volcanoes roused to wakefulness by Yellowstone's hydrothermal alarm belch towering ash plumes into the atmosphere simultaneously. The result could be a volcanic winter lasting years, with chokingly polluted air, widespread crop failures, and global average temperatures plunging by as much as 10 degrees Fahrenheit. As unsettling as it may be, this speculative doomsday scenario is grounded in hard science. Paleoclimate records etched in Greenland ice cores and lake bed sediments as far away as Argentina and Indonesia show that our planet has fallen into, into the icy grip of volcanism induced at volcanic winters multiple times in the geological past. Each time it has taken, taken decades or even centuries to fully recover. Today, with 47 volcanoes already in simultaneous eruption, and the acoustic pressure wave from Yellowstone still propagating through the crust, it feels like we are standing on a geological knife's edge, a planet primed for an eruptive paroxysm not seen since the dawn of human civilization. The story of Yellowstone's black diamond pool eruption, once a seemingly localized event in America's oldest national park, has mushroomed into a global geological whodunit. 
A far-flung web of seismically induced intrigue connects volcanic systems across the vastest distances through invisible pressure waves. It is the geological butterfly effect in terrifying action. The planet itself rings like a struck bell, the very ground beneath our feet revealed as an interconnected system of magmatic tripwires. A slumbering giant is awakening in our lifetimes. As we watch this planetary scale volcanological drama unfold, one unsettling question looms above all others. What new geologic monsters will Yellowstone's Ayers explosive hydrothermal roar awaken next? Only one thing is certain. You can count on Earth attacks to be there every step of the way, bringing you the latest explosive developments in this unprecedented volcanological chain reaction. From Yellowstone's shuddering caldera to the Pacific's ominously rumbling ring of fire, Earth Attacks is your source for round-the-clock coverage of a planet on the brink. Stay tuned, stay alert, and stay safe. The next explosive chapter is already in progress.